Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the cleaning and reassembly of the NUMA Freshland uh, pocket watch, the one you're seeing down there. This is another picture that I have. Um, so it's going to be a pretty long video. Um, I may speed it up. I can't really say whether I'm going to do that or not, but I'm not going to be talking while I've made this video because I had to kind of be quiet this morning. So I've added a little bit of music, but you'll see exactly uh, what I've done. So no chatting today, just straight cleaning, reassembly, and playing around to see if I can get this thing running again. So thanks a lot. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the bell so you get the new subscriptions. Make sure you hit the like. All that wonderful stuff on if you want me to do any work for you, just uh, email me at jdwatchservice at gmail.com. And thanks for watching my videos. So let's get at it and to it and to it and at it. You got to get your attitude in.
So that was the world's longest. Damn, my peak again. Eh? <laughs> that was the world's longest cleaning and uh, reassembly video of this uh, fake Swiss pocket watch, the uh, Noma Freshlin. There, it stopped for you there. Um, a few notes on this watch. So, first of all, as I said before, uh, this is fake here. Uh, I just threw a screw on at the end. Just so it holds it in place and it rotates. This is fake here as well. And the arbor, in fact, for this watch, um, the winding for the mainspring is from the other side, as you'll see in, when I disassemble, or I've disassembled the, video, the uh, watch in the previous video, but you'll see as I'm reassembling it. So this is also fake and it just rides around in a circle as, as the arbor goes around to, wa to uh, wind the mainspring. I think this uh, watch, so I completely cleaned it, I've reassembled it, the only part I haven't done yet, which is probably the problem that I'm having right now, is actually uh, doing some work here on the top here. So I, I have not taken apart the uh, balance complete um, and checked to see if that jewel on the top is cracked, because that could be why it's kind of stalling, as you can see, um, and not running really well. So I'm going to do that later. I'm not going to bother making a video on that, uh, but uh, I'm not too concerned. This is not a... Uh, a customer's watch. This is my watch. I just wanted to see if I could get it running again and by golly I did um, and again this full plate here is is fake. Um, I cleaned it up uh, very nicely so as you can see it's uh, it's nicely uh, cleaned. So it's uh, 21 jewels. Well I'm not sure about that. I know these two jewels in the cap are fake jewels for sure but th but there's cap jewels here and here so if I go, like I said the other day, if I go from the first wheel, right, which is the mainspring, one, two, the center, this is fake, the jewel here, because the plate underneath is actually what's riding the pinion, or the pivot on this. So it's one, two, three, fake jewel, four, fake jewel. So they're not capped. They look like they're capped, but they're not. Uh, the fifth one is capped. The sixth one is capped. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, there's where the second hand is here. So, and then the escapement, and this one here is where the uh, pallet fork is actually. So it's an escapement and the pallet fork right there. So, I got it running again. Uh, the banking pins are. You can't uh, adjust the banking pins unless you bend them. Uh, I'm not sure if they're bent to the right position, but they're they're the way they are. Um, and I will take this off here and have a look underneath and unscrew that and see if I, if the jewel under there needs to be replaced, because uh, that's probably why it's hanging up. Um, and it usually will hang up in positions if the jewel's more oval or not. Also, I put a, a, a screw on top here, and it looks a bit bigger than I want it to be, so I may find another screw that's a little bit less uh, over the top, but it doesn't do anything. So that's the important part. Uh, the other thing on this watch is that the uh, this the, the case goes on fine. We just put this on, but the, a few things here. I have to actually push in like that to wind it, which is probably not normal. So I'm not sure what's going on there. If I push in like that and then I can wind it, and if I put like a one wind on it, for example, if I just do this and wind it, you'll see the mechanisms turn. Right? See that? So that's all fake going on there so the other thing is I need to go find a pair of hands for this thing and I need to help find a second hand that shouldn't be a big issue and then the watch will be ready to go and earlier as you saw I used a bit of enamel paint there to paint the edge here so you can't really see the uh, the uh, the crack that was there before you just barely noticeable um, and the other thing I'm going to do is this is a a mineral crystal on the top here and it's a bit scratched so the other thing I want to do is take this off uh, get out the uh, 
3000 grade sandpaper and see if I can clean this crystal up nicely. Uh, unless I have a plastic replacement for it, uh, which I don't think I have. So I'll do that later. Uh, not necessary to do right now. So this is the uh, Numa Freshland pocket watch. Like I said, I got it running again, which I um, hope you had a lot of faith in me. But I do have to check that jewel on the top that I didn't do yet. Um, but everything else was cleaned. Uh, and that's that's it for this video today. I'll uh, put a little bit of jazz music in the background. Uh, I may speed the whole darn thing up. Uh, we'll see how long it is. And uh, I may do a times two on it. And uh, just to shorten it up a bit and make it in under an hour. Uh, with, of course, good jazz music. So thanks for watching my channel. Uh, JDWatchService at gmail.com if you want to get a hold of me. Uh, please comment. I really enjoy the comments. Thanks for watching. The pretty detailed cleaning this time, and I tried to make the uh, this fake plate on the, on the top look as good as possible. Got a lot of the rid got rid of a lot of the rust, the corrosion that was in there, and and other things. So kind of cool little watch. Uh, may have to do some work on the stem here, uh, but it's a good watch. It's stalling, I think, because it's uh, the jewel on the top is probably oval or cracked. So I'll have a look at that now. So thanks a lot, and see you later. Alrighty then, alrighty then. This is a final update. I've been playing with this hairspring for around an hour. So hairspring work is not fun at all. But I've managed to get this watch running fairly well, fairly good compared to the way it was running before. I don't know if it'll ever be perfect, but it's uh, running now. It's uh, got a bigger uh, amplitude than it had before. and. I had to do a lot of playing with the hairspring because the hairspring touches the arm on the balance and you get all kinds of other problems. So, And I had to restud the hairspring as well, which is not fun. So that's it. So that's the video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.